The Avalanche Creek area is one of the most popular and crowded spots in the park. The old growth cedars and hemlocks aren't like anywhere else in the park and look more at home on the rocky coasts of Washington or Oregon than in the Rocky Mountains. However, rains from clouds caught by the Continental Divide make this an inviting habitat for a wide array of plants and animals. A campground is located here, but the real draws are the two popular trails that allow exploration of this unique part of the park. The Trail of the Cedars is an easy one-half mile, wheelchair-accessible loop trail into the cool and inviting old-growth forest. Huge western red cedars, western hemlocks, and cottonwoods line the banks of Avalanche Creek. Ferns and other shade-loving plants thrive in the filtered light that penetrates the forest canopy. About halfway along the trail, a bridge crosses the creek and provides a stunning view of Avalanche Gorge. Centuries of water gushing through this narrow gap have rounded and smoothed the moss-laden walls. Hikers may continue back to the parking area at this point on the loop or venture off to the Avalanche Lake Trail. The trail follows along Avalanche Creek as it climbs up and out of the cedar hemlock forest to a mixed forest of spruce and fir just a few hundred feet above. Early morning visitors may also be treated to the sights of deer or other wildlife along the trail. Before long, the forest opens up and the dramatic cliffs at the head of Avalanche Lake loom on the horizon. Fed by melting snows and the Sperry Glacier, huge waterfalls cascade down the back of the Avalanche Cirque all summer long. It's easy to see why this is one of the most popular hikes in the park. It's not for those seeking solitude, but the rewards of this trip are worth every step. My name is Bill Schustrom. I've been with the Park Service for 24 years. I am an interpreter here in Glacier National Park. Water's a big concern to us here in Glacier National Park. Uh, streams are fast moving. The rocks along the edges of those streams can be very, very slippery. We don't want any of you falling into that water. So we certainly encourage you to stay on the trails here in the park. Parking at Avalanche Creek is very, very limited. Uh, we get a lot of cars up there, a lot of congestion. We suggest that you take our free shuttle, which operates from July until Labor Day, a uh, carefree way to see the park. Uh, the shuttle service is operating out of the Apgar area. You can find us right at the T intersection as you come into the park on the west side. <laughs>